So guys, I am back with another Elden Ring Shadow of the Earth Tree video. And today guys, I'm going to showcase to you how you can get the Lamenters Omen form. Check this out. Now, what I will say is, um, you've got the two dragon forms, we know about this. This is another one that's been discovered. I'm not too sure about these forms, to be honest guys. I'm not going to lie to you. Yeah, but what I will say is, every guide I've seen on YouTube so far, always demonstrates where the location of the boss is where you have to take out to get this um it's always speed up videos and cut out routes so today guys i'm bringing you a, like a complete guide from start to finish on how you get this it's quite simple it's just a trip to get there but you will be rewarded this wild looking lamenta omen form how's it going guys my name is dpj and if you do enjoy the video leaving a like it really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe so we got dragon forms, now we got omen forms. This one's a little bit more unique though in what it does because if you it's obviously like a consumable you can use indefinitely, but if you use a consumable once you already have it on, you basically headbutt with a giant head, which is just wild man. It's just wild. Now the actual item itself, like I said, it's called the Lamenter's Mask, transforms the wearer into a Lamenter and causes head to swell in size. I'm not gonna lie, I mean people may enjoy these uh, forms, these dragon forms, we've got Pusa's heart, we got the rock heart. For now, in my opinion, I don't think they're that great, but that's just me. Uh, the fact that you have to skip out on your armor to put these on, it just really ain't for me guys. But yeah, I mean, a complete guide is what I plan to bring you, so let's go. Okay guys, so we get this from... The Lamenters Gel, which is, well, I say it's right here, right next to the first gravesite plane, but it really ain't, guys. Um, it's a mission away. Uh, you actually have to come from, let's say we start at this castle front, where you have to work our way all the way down to the Dragon Pit. We have to go through here, enter at the Dragon Pit Terminus, come around to the Grand Dragon Altar Communion, or the Grand Altar of Dragon Communion. I said that completely wrong, but hey, who cares? We have to make our way around to here which is uh, Charles Hidden Grave, and then up to this spot right here. And once you get here, guys, it's like a little bit of a puzzle inside of here. You have to open, open a couple of gates with keys that you have to find, which I'll guide you through completely today. So as I normally do, guys, I'll start from the castle front for people that ain't got these graces unlocked. But every grace along the way, I will timestamp down below for you to skip to if you have these graces unlocked already. So keep that in mind. Okay, so from... The grave site plain castle front grace. We're gonna make our way down towards pillar path uh, waypoint, then down towards the dragon pit and through there, all the way around as we did. So jump on your little trusty uh, mount and follow this path. Now, what I will say is, guys, um, if you're yet to do this, there will be an NPC down here who you definitely want to interact with for the first time. His name is Igon. Once you go past the pillar paths. Uh, Grace, you'll hear screams from him. Now, I do suggest you speak to him and clear out his dialogue because as you push on, you will then get invaded by the ancient dragon man, who you do have to take out, by the way, to open up the dragon pit. So, keep that in mind too. I'll explain a bit more as we get past here. So, I'll keep coming up this way, guys. You ain't, you ain't got to fight and stop for anyone here. So, I'll keep coming up here. And then eventually, guys, you'll come to this point right here. But that grace is just upon that hill right in front of us. But this is the fork in the road we need to go right. But the grace is just in front of us right there. So if we go right here, when you come here for the first time, you'll hear Igon screaming. There's an NPC sitting in the road um, to speak to him. Upon you speaking to him, clearing out his dialogue, if you push on this way, you'll be invaded by the ancient dragon man. Take him out because you need to take him out to progress forward. So once you've taken him out, just keep on traveling south as I'm doing right here. And we'll end up at the dragon pit. He opens, you take him out and he opens up that path. So that's what we need to do. So I'll keep coming around here. So we need to progress through that. Uh, so yes, this is a dragon pit just up here on your left. So run inside there, jump off your trusty little mount. Oh, I need a bit of light in here because it is dark. So there we go. Okay, so in here, guys, it's Dragon's Pit. You'll come to a grace right there. There it is right there. So we have to push through. Now there is a uh, another boss in here. His name is also, guys. Yep, you heard that right. Ancient Dragon Man. We have to fight him for the second time. 
I will say it's an easy fight though. It's nothing to worry about. Just take him out. If you can take him out the first time, you'll take him out for the second time quite easily. And upon you doing that, guys, you also get his uh, Dragon Hunter's Great Katana, which is unbelievable. So yeah, if you haven't done that yet, you may want to do that too. So here, guys, you just want to run forward. Ignore these guys. Don't know how that uh, arrow went straight through me then, but I ain't going to complain. Come up here, and you want to drop down this way. And come down this way. Just ignore all these enemies, guys. You ain't got to worry about any of them. You'll eventually, guys, come to this point right here. Which looks like death. But it actually ain't. So jump down. Jump down. I mean, it's mad how you can fall this far and not die. And then, guys, down here will be that boss fight with the ancient dragon man, which is part two of the boss fight. Take him out and push on forward. Push on forward, open the door and come through here. Keep coming, people. Okay, so here, guys, we have another grace. This is the dragon terminus, I believe. Yeah, dragon's pit terminus. Okay, so from here, guys, we need to rush forward. Now you can pull out your trusty old mount at the end here, just like so. And now, guys, we're gonna head on to the dragon's communion. So to get here, guys, this weapon's a bit big on my shoulder. Let me take that off. So come to this point, guys. Keep coming down here. When you first get here, there will be a big old dragon in the middle of the, this little uh, pool of water. You should just run past him. Don't even bother trying to fight him. Just run past his ass. Here, guys, you want to stick right. Just stick right. Simple as that. I actually need more dragons to test builds on. I really do. Okay, so we're going to come down here, guys. Run past all these golden goat things. I mean, like, what is the need for these? What are they here for? What do they offer? Anything particular? I don't know. But this is from software. Okay, so keep coming this way, guys. Just keep coming. Keep coming. And then you'll end up right here. So you can see where we're at. We are at the Dragon Communion of the Shadow Realm. So just keep coming this way, people. And you see, there we've got the Grand Altar of the Dragon Communion. And you see there's a grace point right there. From here, guys, we want to head right and go up over this giant dragon. I mean, yes, that is one big old ass dragon. I mean, like, massive. Look at the size of its toenails. Jesus. So keep coming over this way. And you'll be here. Just drop down. Don't worry about it. Just drop down. You'll be good. And now we're here. And now, guys, we're just going to head around to the right. Let's keep coming this way. Charles Hidden Grave. Pretty badass. Now, there's a couple of um, road bosses here. You can run straight past them or take them out if you want to. You'll first come to like a ghostly figure in a boat within this water. I mean, easy fight, take him out. As you pass up on the left hand side here guys, there is a grace at the top here as well. So if you do plan on taking on this boss, make sure that you hit the grace first. So the grace is right there, it's a pretty looking out area, is it not? I think it's just above the Cerulean coast, yeah it is, look. Beautiful. Okay, so this is the grace right there. Shows healing grave. So from here, guys, just going to push forward yet again. Now here there are a few pesky birds and bastards, um, but we just want to run past them. And this is where you'll get another boss. So just run straight past them, guys. Just come over where I'm going. I hate these flipping things. So get out! Get out of it! Stop that shit! Stop that shit! Stop that shit! And you just want to come down this way. Just like so. So we'll keep coming down here, guys. Jump down here. And just run along the water and you're good. Now up here on your right hand side is that Lamenter's gel. This is where you want to be. So just run inside here. You can see where we're at. Just there. So run inside here. And there is a grace point, so don't worry about that. So there you have it. Pretty cool. Okay, so now guys, run, run on down. And what you'll see here is a lock gate, firstly. 
this gate will be locked so what you need to do guys is head left come through here run past that first door on your right hand side run past that and go inside this second door right here inside here there will be a you see that um chest there open the chest grab the key run back to that gate simple as that people so then back to that gate ignoring all these enemies there's barely any enemies here you have to fight you can see where we're at there's a gate so we run through that gate to open it and run through it and then down the ladder simple as this people now there is another uh key we have to get but it's still it's quite easy to get nothing difficult about it uh, so come through and we can go left or right and then you want to jump up here so jump up here just like so through here and you'll end up right where we're at, we're at. now if you st when you stand on this floor it will break so you stand on it it'll break you fall and you want to head left straight away and then guys we want to work our way around to the right and go up up again so it's the second door you want to head it into which is this one right here get out of it oh shit, i didn't even notice my health was so low okay so now guys you want to be careful here and jump across there just like that and you're good so keep coming forward and you'll end up in this room right here with loads of little annoying parts here guys you need to come this way and what i'll do is the chest right there so stand in front of it it's going to come towards you and as soon as it does just jump out of the way like that open a chest grab it then guys you want to run back you want to come out of the room the way you come in so I'll come around here and just scale up just like this there you have it now once you come out here guys make your way around remember that gap in the floor you do not want to fall down which is that one right there so just jump across that and head back up here now from here guys we're traveling back up to the right now we ain't going the same way we came we're going up further so we come through here ignore that guy <laughs> always misses no matter what and then guys you want to jump down and that's the gate you get the key to that gate there but once you go down here guys there is an enemy here there you may want to take out firstly it's up to you but because i've already done it i don't need to so open a gate guys run straight forward down this ladder and then you'll see where we gotta go from here so i'll keep coming forward guys and this will be the boss room simple as that the lamenta boss take him out and then you are rewarded this mad wild lamenta's mask consumable reusable use it as much as you want turn into the lamenta headbutt things if you wanna well that's completely up to you but that's how you get it guys a complete guide on it guys if you enjoyed the video leaving a like it really helps out if you like quite see one see more out of ring be sure to subscribe and hopefully people i will see you on that next one